Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. Now, as it turns out, we're having a pretty one-man band week this week. Uh, yesterday's video was really cool, checking out Nooses with his one-man band stuff. We had a great one-man band on the Monday Grind as well. And today we've got a new guy to the channel from the UK, Stoke-on-Trent, with some straight-edge hardcore. This is Alpha Bravo, doing it all himself as well. Super sick, I've been going on about it in every video so far. What he's done for us today is sent over a short EP. I think it's three tracks long, it's about 12 minutes. Happy to do that as well, give him a good spin, see what it's all about. So, let's see what he did with this stuff. This one's called Sierra. Yeah. that he's working with on the tracks. Yeah, real vibe to this one.
great. Oh, we've moved on to the next track. I let it roll for this one, but I wanted to talk about that last track. No cymbal sounds. Drum program. This is really quite different music when when it said it was straight edge hardcore. This is not what I was expecting to hear. It's very cool, it's got a mood, it's got a vibe to it, it's got a kind of, you know, uh, 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 just a different vibe to it. It's got a darkness to it, I would say. quickly because I don't want to forget what I want to say about this music before we get to the end of it but man when I read that this guy was straight edge hardcore when I read straight edge hardcore I expect a certain type of music because most straight edge hardcore bands are kind of raw classic hardcore uh, screaming and shouting into the mic and got those you know classic hardcore riffs and guitar tones and stuff in it this really isn't that in my opinion it's got a hardcore edge to it, sure, but this is way more moody, way more atmospheric, drawn out. The riffs aren't chugging and kind of the typical stuff you'd expect. It's got hardcore influences in there, but it's way more dark, way more kind of doomy, I would say. Got doom elements to it and drawn out and, you know, a bit more kind of trudgy in that way. Uh, I like that we've got different vocalists coming in and out as well by the sound of things. Um, you know, the first guy was doing some, I thought he had a mixture of kind of like, there was new metal edges in there and then there was kind of some pig squealy, Harsh edges in there as well. Uh, reminded me of our friend Patrick McElvey and his band Seath. Um, similar kind of vibe and similar tone as well with the distortion on the vocal. I like that. It's a very nice mix as well. The drums are coming through nicely. Nice clarity on the cymbals for all those tings on the ride, which I'm appreciating. I would just say, uh, it's obviously using MIDI drums. I would say when you've got those snare rolls and stuff, just pay a bit more attention to the velocities. Make sure there's a bit more variation in the velocity hits. So, you know, it adds a bit more natural, humanized sound to it. Uh, and it's not just kind of a same hit every time. But yeah, I'm enjoying what he's doing with the drums as well. Lots of cool stuff going on in there. Um, and working with those more drawn out, 
kind of doomy hardcore riffs uh so not what i was expecting at all so far let's check out the last track can't read the name of this one Yeah, it's got a nice dark atmospheric edge to it, cool distortion, almost a bit blackened in a way. expecting this music but I'm really enjoying it for it. bits in this music telly's really thinking about his music trying to make it interesting trying to make it spicy lots of stuff on the drums cool riffs on the guitars i think this guy's killed it today totally not what i was expecting when i read straight edge hardcore uh maybe he wants to think about that because if someone's really into classic straight edge hardcore and they read his profile and go oh here's a straight edge hardcore guys check out and they check this out that is not going to be what they expect from straight edge hardcore way more moody way more dark way more atmospheric drawn out down tempo uh got a vibe to it 
almost got a blackened edge to it. That last one, you know, and it reminds me of black metal in a way because of the tone of the guitars, the vibe, the darkness, you know, those are all kind of black metal edges as well. Uh, so I thought it was really sick. I'd call it something like black and down tempo death, um, hardcore um there were some deathcore elements in there as well which why i nearly said deathcore there some de in the vocals there was some deathcore elements um and some of the chucky breakdown bits were a bit deathcore as well so there's a lot coming together this it's not really classic straight edge hardcore uh it's as i say it's more of a darkness and a down tempo edge to this one very very nice if you know me you'll know i love a dark depressive edge to any kind of music i think it's just the coolest vibe to bring through any track um and a great way to express those kind of emotions without you know doing it irl uh and a very good way to get that stuff off your chest as well sick I've really enjoyed this today. Not what I was expecting, but I've been pleasantly surprised by that because I think if we just had a classic uh, straight edge hardcore band, I'd have gone, yeah, these guys are cool, but they're classic straight edge hardcore. Uh, but whereas this guy has made some really cool vibing music, which tells me he's, he's, he's expressing himself in that way. He's not just creating classic hardcore. Uh, or straight edge hardcore and just kind of you know redoing the format that's been done for many many years this is fresh this is different this is personal uh and and, and that's one of the reasons why i love one man bands because you can tell this guy has has put his edge to all the different aspects of this music you know the drums were vibey the guitars were vibey now obviously he had vocalists in there um, but he set up the whole track for those vocalists to vibe over it as well so this guy is obviously, you know, purposely bringing that vibe, bringing that dark edge into his music because that's how he wants to express himself. Sick. Totally on board with it. <laughs> that's three bands this week, new bands to the channel, one man bands where I'm totally on board straight away because I can see these guys are killing it, expressing themselves with personal music, um, putting it out on the internet for other people to check out as well. And I'm straight on board with it. Uh, I think this guy needs more listeners. He's got 38 subscribers, which is about average for the uh, bands that we've been showing this week. So please head over to his channel, give him a like, give him a subscribe and get on board with this guy because I really think this guy is going to put out some cool music uh, that you that's different to what you know normally hear. Um, I'm really on board with it. Very, very sick. As I say, I love a dark and blackened edge to anything. And when you bring it into something like hardcore, that's normally more aggressive than darkened, it's more angry, got more bit of a beat to it, and you slow it down, you darken it up, you vibe it up. I very much enjoy it. Thanks very much for the submission. I very much enjoyed that 12 minute EP. I thought it was a good length. I thought the three tracks worked nicely. Uh, it moved through them well. Uh, we didn't have like long breaks and stuff between the tracks and that, which was cool as well. So the, you know, the second track just moved straight into that. Very, very nice. I think this guy's ticking a lot of cool boxes. I'll be happy to see, you know, where he, where he goes this year with his music. If he puts out another EP or something like that. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, it'll just get better and better from here on out. Great job. I enjoyed that a lot. Hope you're having a good day today, guys. We'll see you around later. Bye.